Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Stitch Fix unboxing and try on. And if you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it's a clothing subscription service. You sign up, you do a style profile, you go through questions on what you like and what you don't. And then there is a $20 styling fee. So they'll send you five items, you pick what you like, what you don't like, you send it right back in their prepaid envelope. It has uh, USPS, so the post office super convenient if you do like anything you get that twenty dollars deducted and if you like your whole box you get a really good discount it's like twenty percent or twenty five percent i'm not really sure but it's a really good deal for the amount of pieces you're getting and then you get that twenty dollars deducted like i said so it's probably one of the most exciting things i've done whenever i get my box i'm always so excited and i can't wait to see what's inside and i do have a code down below usually the first two days this video is up you'll get a hundred dollar credit and you can use that for anything for boxes if you just want to buy one item or if you want to sign up for they have kids stitch fix so if you want to use that credit for that you can and there's also stitch fix for men so lots of stuff you could do with a hundred dollar credit and then if after those two days it's a 25 dollar credit so that basically covers your first box so you could try it if you don't like anything send it back you can cancel you'll still have a five dollar credit after that if you like anything in your box you also get that twenty dollars deducted so it's just like free clothes so i definitely want to point that out my link will be down below if you like these videos make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and let's get on with the video so i did get a smaller box this month so i know there's probably not going to be jeans in here but i'm so excited to find out i got this i think the day before yesterday and that's the longest i've been able to wait to open it and film this but i really couldn't film anything yesterday i think i did another video so i wanted to save this for today if you've never tried stitch fix this is what the inside of the box looks like so everything is super organized they give you that return envelope like i said and then a little love note and then your bundle the envelope that you get and inside it shows you all different ways that you can wear the pieces which i think is super helpful even if you don't like anything in the box it does give you some really good outfit ideas which i think is always helpful so my letter says, happy fix day, Jennifer. My name is Caitlin and I'm so excited to style for you. After reviewing your profile and fix board, I saw that you're looking for casual and edgier looks. Start with the white cutoff shorts from Can Can with your preferred high rise shorts. Style these with red and blue halter top and your favorite sandals. I sized this top down to a smaller since your last halter was too big. How does this fit? For another casual look, try the shorts with the magenta printed tank top. The teal green and navy striped knit tank will style perfectly with your favorite jeans and your white lace-up sneakers for a laid-back look. I know you love a good dress, so today I chose a navy and coral knit dress from Kaylee with a crisscross back feature. Be sure to let me know how your size small top fits. Stylishly yours, Caitlin. So I definitely think that she might have did a little bit better than my previous boxes. So my style, I feel like, is really either boho or more, like, flashy. Those are, like, the two things I go for. I like really unique things that are, you know, I'm a Jersey girl, so we like our bling and rhinestones. And then I also really love, like, boho florals and bell bottoms so those are like my two things that i go for naturally and i haven't really received that many things like that so hopefully i know can can i've never tried those jean shorts but i know they are a good brand so i'm excited to try those white shorts right now i don't feel like even though it is still hot here in florida i still like to be a little more um seasonally appropriate so i don't usually wear white shorts like i'll wear white jeans with a top like this but i don't know we'll try them and i'm excited to try those out you'll also receive an itemized list of everything in your box with the prices the name how much your total box would cost 
if you bought everything or how much everything costs individually. So it is super helpful. Everything is really very organized compared to a lot of the other um, boxes that I've subscribed to. This company is really good with showing you, being very transparent and showing you everything in full detail. Okay, so the first thing, this is the coral and blue halter top in the size small, which I definitely think the small is going to work a little bit better than if she gave me my normal size medium. So this is by Collective Concepts. It is a halter style top and just very easy breezy and lightweight on the bottom. It does look like it's a longer length, so it is going to give you more of a tunic length. So if you want to wear it with jeggings, um, you can get some coverage in the back with this. I do like that keyhole detail on the front and I like the colors too. They don't look like something I would normally wear in the fall, but I guess with the leaves and stuff, you could make it fall appropriate with a different colored cardigan. So this is um, the Krissa Keyhole Halter, and it is $54, which I think is a little pricey for this material. It's 100% polyester. It does look a little sheer as well. So when I'm holding it up, I can see through the other side. So I think you would need to wear either a nude bra, a nude strapless bra, or maybe possibly white. Next item, I could tell it's the Kaylee material. I really like this material for being in Florida. So it looks like it's the crisscross dress. So this is what it looks like on the front. So it does look like there is some gathering on the sides. So that's what it looks like on the side. There's some ruching and elastic. And then elastic through the middle. And then it just has like a flowy look to the bottom. This is what the back looks like. So this is really pretty and unique. Here are the colors. So there is some browns in there. So I think it does work for full. And this dress is $54. Okay, the next item is the Can Can Shorts. They, gave, they did size up. They gave me a size 29. Usually I'm a 28. So that's what the front looks like. They do have a frayed hem. And then that's what the back. Are these mom sh uh, shorts? They look like they're more of a mom short. It doesn't say. So it says these are the Ira Frey hem short. These do, I can understand why these are a popular brand. They do feel like they're really good quality. And then they have the little logo on the back pocket. So I am excited to try these. These are $44. Okay, this next item is by Mix. It's just a casual white with some navy blue and teal stripes. It looks like it has a it's a tunic length, so it goes up and then it scoops down, so you do get some coverage. And there's a little pocket on the front and then a little detail on the back. So this is $38, and it says by Paper Moon. So this does feel really nice and stretchy. What is the material on this? Okay, it's rayon and spandex, and they did give me my usual size medium. And then the last item I got is another tank. So it looks like this on the front. It's just a burgundy print with then some pink on the bottom. And then this is what the back looks like. I really like this one. This is from Skies Are Blue. And I do like that brand too. So just an easy flowy top. I do like this. And I like this color for fall. 
So this top is $54. It's called the Edgar Border Print Knit Top. Okay, so if I purchase everything in my box, it would be $150.50, and that is deducting my $20. So that would be my total. I think for $158.50, all of these pieces, three tops, a pair of shorts, and a dress is a pretty good deal. Um, everything seems like it's really good quality, but I'm going to try it on, and we'll see what works and what doesn't. Okay, here is that Collective Concepts halter top. I really am happy she gave me the small on this because I know that the medium would have not worked. I feel like this is just fitting me and maybe could be a little on the bigger end. But it is really comfortable and nothing's hanging out so I am happy with this fitting on this. I like that it is a little longer. I like the material is nice and lightweight. But what I really love about it is the colors. I feel like there's so many things you could wear with this. It looks so good with this color denim. And then I know with the dark denim because of that navy, light denim because of the turquoise and white because of the white in there. So it really does look a lot more boho than I thought pulling it out of the box. But it is really pretty. I love the keyhole detail. The only thing I don't like about it is you have to wear a strapless bra with it. Other than that, it's definitely a win. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I really like it. I think it's something that I'm definitely going to wear. Here is the Kaylee dress. Very comfortable, easy to throw on. I, I'm in love with their fabric that they use. I don't know what it is, but I have their romper in this. And then this dress is so soft, it's so lightweight, stretchy. I really, really like it. The print is okay to me. I don't love it, but I really love the cut of this. So you have that gathered waist in here that brings it all in, but it's nice and flowy. And then the back has that crisscross detail. I, I got the normal size medium and I would say it is true to size. So just really comfortable. The only thing I don't like about it is you have to wear a strapless bra. So. A lot of strapless bras in these pieces, but I really, really do like this. It's that Paper Moon striped tank top, and I absolutely love this. I think it's so comfortable. It, you can see I'm wearing a black bra right now, so it is a little sheer, but it's white, so it most likely would be. But it is so comfortable. It fits so nice. I love the detail on it. I love that little button in the back. It just gives it something extra special. And this is definitely my style for every day. So I'm really impressed with this. I would have never thought that I would like a basic tank top with stripes in a pocket this much. But I really, really, I absolutely love this. It's so comfortable. And I know it's going to be something that I throw on a lot just because it does look good. But you can really put it with denim you could put it with white you could really put it with leggings there's so many things i'm going to be able to wear with this here are the can can shorts and i definitely can understand why people love these so much they're super super comfortable really stretchy like buttery soft so i really really like these i don't mind that they're white even though it is full here i think i'll definitely get a lot of wear of them over the next month or so and then also when it gets warmer usually in march here in florida so super comfortable i do feel like i might have needed the 28s they are like big on the side and then underneath but the only thing i'm scared of is that if i do size down they will be a little shorter so comment down below if you think i should keep these or if i should exchange them but i definitely like them here is the skies are blue tank top so i really like the v-neck on this and i also love the like crisscross detail on it the length is pretty good it's just a nice easy breezy tank or piece to throw on just for every day with a little extra detail with that crisscross so the thing i don't like about it even though it's my normal size medium i always have an issue with the armholes they are a little too big on me so that I don't like. And then also I don't like that I have to wear a strapless bra with it. It's usually just something that 
it's kind of annoying if I'm just trying to get ready really quick to have to change my bra. So I just tucked it in, the one that I'm wearing now because I didn't feel like changing. But that's one thing I don't like about it. But I really do like the color for fall, but it is appropriate for the weather here. And it's just really comfy and easy. And it does have some special details with that crisscross back. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep this whole box. I think everything is gonna work with the weather right now here in Florida. It's been super hot, like 90 degrees. And unfortunately in stores, everything is sweaters, coats, and more like cold weather stuff. So I think this is gonna hold me over for the next month or two until it does start cooling off. So I'm really happy with this box. I think some of the things could have fit a little bit better, but overall I'm really happy with everything. If you think I'm right making the right decision, let me know in the comments. Or if you don't like anything, please also let me know. Um, I still have a couple days to make that decision. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.